All right, fifth grade. Uh, well, we're looking at getting into chapter three today, and we are looking at rules of rounding. We're going to be estimating sums and differences uh, today with decimals. But the first thing I want you to do is take a screenshot or pause this video, write this down. These are the rules of rounding. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about what exactly these mean here momentarily, but two main rules of rounding. Less than five means you need to round down. Five and higher means you need to round up. So take a screenshot, write these down, pause the video, whatever you need to do. Rules of rounding, less than five, round down. Five and higher, round up. All right, so let's take this specifically. Let's look at what we're going to be doing today. Your directions are going to tell you to estimate the sum or difference. Estimate the sum or difference. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to be rounding things to the greatest place value. And by greatest place value, I mean you're looking to look at the number way to the left, the first number way to the left, and you're going to round to that place. So in 23 and 89 hundredths plus 12 and 46 hundredths, we're going to be looking at the 2, and we're going to be looking at the 1, and we're going to be rounding to that place. So when I look at the 2, what I do is I focus then on the 3. And the 3 gives me instructions on what to do. Now remember the rules of rounding. Less than 5, round down. 5 and higher, round up. So the 3 is telling me to round down, because this is less than 5. Now, rounding down does not mean keeping, making this a 1. Rounding down means that I'm going to keep it a 2. Because what's going to happen is that everything after that 2 is going to become a 0. So the 3 is going to become a 0. The 8 is going to become a 0. And the 9 is going to become a 0. And I end up with 20.00 or just 20. Now... 12 and 46 hundredths, the 1, the 2 is going to tell me what to do. Once again, it's less than 5, so I'm going to round down. So the 1 is going to stay a 1. Everything else is going to become a 0, which means I'm going to end up with 10, because that's going to become a 0, 0, 0.00, or 10 and 0 hundredths, or essentially fifth grade, just 10. And this is how you're going to set up your problems on your assignment. You're going to be given this original problem, and you're going to have to draw these arrows to get what these new numbers are. Now, you're just going to add the new numbers that you're given. That's what estimating the sum or difference is. So now I'm just adding 20 plus 10. Or if I want to, I can put the point zero zero there. Not necessary. If you understand that this is 20, you can just put 20. If you understand that this is 10, you can just put 10. Now I'm doing 20 plus 10, and well, that's a pretty basic addition problem. 20 plus 10 is 30, and that right here is my final answer. All right, let's look at the next one. 26 and 97 hundredths plus 8 and 23 hundredths. 26 and 97 hundredths plus 8 and 23 hundredths. Well, the 6 here is going to tell me what to do with the 2, all right? And the 6 is going to tell me to round up because of the rule. 5 and higher, round up. 6 is bigger than 5, so I'm going to round up. So when I round up, my 2 will actually become a 3. And everything else, the 6, the 9, and the 7, will all become 0. So I'm going to put 0, decimal, 0, zero, leaving the decimal in the same spot. And I'm going to do the same thing with the eight. It's the two that's going to tell me what to do with the eight. And the rule says less than five round down. So remember when I round down, that eight is going to stay the same. So I always have to line the decimal up in the place values. That eight is actually in the ones place. So that eight is going to go there. That's not a very good eight, is it? Now that'll work. And then I'm going to add decimal zero, zero. 
And then I'm going to add the two numbers that I end up with, my new estimated numbers. 30 plus 8. Now, once again, you need to put the arrows to show the new numbers. The original problem is going to be given for you. You need to rewrite it with the arrows and the new numbers. Now I have 30 plus 8 and 30 plus 8. That's not a, a difficult addition problem. I end up with 38. 38 and 0 hundredths. And that is my final answer. 38. All right. Subtraction is the same exact thing. Okay? Subtraction is the same exact thing, except now we're subtracting. Once again, it's this 7 that's going to tell me what to do. The 7 gives me the instructions on what to do with the 2. This is 5 or higher, so I'm going to round up. My 2 is going to become a 3. Everything else is going to become a 0. In 19 and 65 hundredths, the 9 is going to tell me what to do with the 1. This is 5 and higher, so I'm going to round up. The 1 is going to become a 2. So the 1 becomes a 2. Everything else becomes a 0. That leaves me with 30 minus 20. Well, 30 minus 20 is 10. And if I want to, I can put the decimal 0, 0. It's not absolutely necessary, but... I'm going to have a 10 there. Now, so I look at this last one, 962 and 83 hundredths minus 547 and 68 hundredths. Okay, once again, I'm going to be rounding to the greatest place value. I'm looking at the 9 and I'm at the 6. The 6 is telling me to round up. Because 5 and higher, I round up. Okay? So here's a little different situation. Because I'm rounding up, and I have a 9. So it's telling me to make the 9 a 10. So I will actually do that. The 9 will actually become a 10. And then my 6 and my 2 will both become zeros, And I'll end up with 1,000. Sometimes that'll happen, and instead of three digits before the decimal, here we end up with four, because my nine had to become a ten, and it got rounded up to one thousand. Five hundred forty-seven and sixty-eight hundredths, okay? Once again, the five, the four is telling me what to do with the five, okay? So, the four is telling me what to do with the 5, all right? And so I'm looking at the 4, and it's telling me less than 5, round down, okay? Less than 5, round down. So that means since I'm rounding down, the 5 is going to stay a 5. And of course, I want to keep the place values lined up. That 5 is in the hundredths place, so I need to line it up with that 0. Remember, before the decimal, 1's place, 10's place, hundreds place. So 5, everything else is going to become a 0. And I end up with 1,000 minus 500. Well, 1,000 minus 500, that's going to end up being 500. And that's not a very difficult subtraction problem. Fifth grade, that is estimating sums or differences with decimals. You're going to round them to the greatest place value, and then you're going to subtract or add the new numbers that you need to have. All right, have a good day. Bye.